Well, take number two after uh, forgetting to hit the record button with Kristen Adams, uh, Francis Howell Sr. after their dominating victory at the Fleet Feed uh, Nike Cross Country Kickoff at Quail Ridge in Winsville. And they lost a couple of uh, senior All-Staters from last year's squad that won the state Class 4 state title and uh, Valeska Holomasek and then uh, Whitney Adams and just reloaded and just dominated today with 28 points and Kristen was six overall. and. Um, take me back to again what that was like in 2011 when that winning that state track title and then last fall winning the, the state cross country title. Um, track, it kind of we worked up to it all season and it really helped boost our confidence because once we won that, we we're just kind of all like, okay, we can do this. We've established who we are, and then the next season, Val and Whitney finally became like they were distance runners all the time, but they never believed it. Sure. And I finally realized it come like conference time. And then once we actually won state, it was just overwhelming because right. we had dreamed about it all season. And uh, did, did you ever get amazed just how, I mean, obviously Valeska, you know, amazing in, in the four and the eight, but even Whitney's talents at, at the sprints, is that? Yeah, every race she amazes you. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many times you see her flying, doing a workout, anything it's amazing every yeah. time to watch them race well tell me what was the goal coming into the season to even though you lost those two big ones to just keep filling in and everybody pick up slack and and try to win another state title what was the mindset coming in this um, year pretty much our mindset was just do what we can do with the people we have and go out there in every training session just do what we need to do if we need a recovery day recover and basically work with everything we have and we're a really close-knit team so it yeah. helps a lot yeah, um, and uh, tell me obviously uh, tell me a little bit about Maddie Lee, the freshman who came in and was second to Jamie Kemper in the race. Tell me um, about a little bit about her. Don't really. I mean, she's a freshman. That's we kind of knew she was coming in, but that's really all we know. Sure. So we've just been all we run together, like us, like the top four of us. We run our long runs together, and then the other people are just a few minutes behind us and paces on all the long runs and workouts and we just all work together and train together you haven't uh, been too harsh on her as a freshman had no initiations or made her do anything no. crazy <laughs> no yeah um yeah it, uh, um, that can that can happen sometimes and, but um tell me what what your plan your goals are for yourself individually this year um individually my goal is to come in top five and state again and just help out my team as much as i can i haven't i had an injury last um track season so i haven't ran all summer so right now my goal is kind of try to like catch up a little and sure. get back into the feeling of things but my teammates like do a great job of helping me with that yeah and they're all amazing was that, a lot. was that frustrating not be able to miss a lot of that summer training? Yeah, that was pretty frustrating. I mean, it was good to see them out working hard because I got to watch them a lot and I went out there and visited, but it was hard not to be out there with them. Right, right. And uh, tell me about about college. Are you looking forward? Are you interested at all in running in school? And have you yeah, made definitely. visits and, and going through that process of making decisions? Yeah, I'm narrowing it down or trying to. Yeah, is that both fun and anxious? Or? Yeah. Definitely stressful, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, take me back, just if, if you could, any of those thoughts or feelings of what that moment was like. I was fortunate enough to be on uh, on win several team trophies and and be a part of a state championship team, and and uh, unfortunately we came up just short of repeating in, in state cross. And just tell me what that those feelings like were getting up on that stage and receiving those those state championship trophies. Um, it was just kind of unbelievable because it's something you dream about when you're really little and you never realize that like you can do it and then when you're with like a close-knit team and like coaches who you're really close with it's just a, the greatest feeling imaginable yeah. even though like we were all dead right afterwards <laughs> but it was great right right surely nothing that you'll forget for for quite a while no. yeah well, you guys had a fabulous day today. Tell me what it was like running in the heat in that course. Have you you guys had run at this meet at Quail yeah. Ridge for a couple of years, haven't you? Yeah. Um, the heat was definitely it was really hot, but it's something that we do with every year because it's hot every August. Yeah. Every fleet feet seems like the heat is always a problem, but it affects everyone just the same, and you have to go out there and just kind of ignore it because everyone's working through it too. Yeah. 
tell me how the race played out for you. Did you feel like, were you satisfied with how you got out and moved through throughout the race? Yeah, we we had a, like a goal to kind of go together at the beginning, which worked out really well. And then at the end, we just decided to let loose and let the race take its course. Yeah. And everyone just performed their best. Worked out well. Yeah. And then this, things bump up to 5K. What What's next on the schedule for you? Um, I believe we have first capital on okay. that. We don't really have our lineups. Sure. Or anything yet, yeah. So. And then the Forest Park, is that where you guys run that in two um, weeks? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for the time and congrats on the on a, on a good race today and a great career for, so far. And hope you stay healthy and good luck the rest of the season as Thank you guys, you. Francis Howell, uh, Vikings try to, Lady Vikings try to go for that repeat this year. Thank you. All right. Thanks.